I have been noticing that you are reading the contents of the cookies and chips. <laughs> oh, you know, just checking the sugar content. Since I heard about Mike's diabetes, I'm trying to be conscious and learn more about it. Which reminds me, can you tell me about HbA1c? I was confused when reading about it today. <laughs> Watching one's sugar intake is not bad. I love the fact that you're doing your own research as well. Sure, it never hurts to learn. Well, HbA1c is a blood test that gives a person's average blood sugar level over two to three months. A single test can determine your blood sugar control. This is my go-to test when making a game plan for my patients in the clinic. So, how often does Mike need to test his A1C? It is best to get the test at least twice a year. However, if the patient is not meeting the target blood sugar goal, or if there is a change in a patient's insulin regimen or pills, the doctor might order it more often. I read that the American Diabetes Association recommends a target A1C of 7% for most people. Right. 7 is the magic number most of the time. However, with my elderly patients, we set a higher target of less than 8%. This prevents the risk of low blood sugar, which can be fatal. Is it? Good to know that. I wouldn't want anyone to die from low blood sugar especially when they are already being treated for diabetes. Tell me more about it. Sure. Low blood sugar is also called hypoglycemia and can be life-threatening if your blood glucose levels are too low. Most people will start showing symptoms when their blood glucose is less than 70. Symptoms? What kind? When the blood sugar drops too low, you can feel shaky, have chills, and be sleepy or weak. Some might feel confused, lightheaded, and even faint. So what do we do when it is too low then? If you feel any of those symptoms, you must check your blood sugar first. If it is indeed low, you need to eat or drink foods that increase your blood sugar level. Drink orange or apple juice, or you can also eat some chocolate or glucose tablets. If you think you have low blood sugar and cannot check your blood sugar levels, for some reason, just drink some apple or orange juice. It helps. And what if I cannot check my blood sugar level? Like, I am outside and forgot to carry my glucometer. In such cases, just eat any sweet food or drink some apple or orange juice. It helps. A patient of mine always carries sweets and biscuits in his pocket when heading out. That's smart of him. Oh, wow! That is smart. I also read that if someone has frequent low blood sugar levels, they must talk to the doctor to see if they need to adjust their medication. Correct. Sometimes we adjust the insulin or diabetes pills if our patients frequently have low blood sugar levels. Hmm. By the way, Mike has been wanting to talk to you about his case. Sure. We can do it over the weekend. I will ask him to check his blood sugar and make a logbook. It will be helpful to adjust his medications for his doctor and himself. Nice idea. I will let him know if I see him at the gym. I want to know how to check blood sugar, but let's do that another time. Sure thing, dear. I think we are done with the grocery list too. Let's check out. We will be back with more from our family to yours. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.